I love to bring unusual guns to you on uh, Fun Gun Reviews. This is not really an unusual one, but it sure is an old one. This is the H&R 922. And as the name states, it's a 22 long rifle and it's a nine shot pistol. Now this was from a good friend of mine, this lady that, um, elderly lady that said that this pistol was in a drawer for 60 years and she didn't want to touch it. So she brought it to me to clean up and I did and I took it out to test fire it and when I did I thought you know this would be kind of fun to do a review I mean the 922 uh, there are tons of them out there but this is just a little information for fun and this little H&R 22 revolver H&R by the way has been was in business for over a hundred years it's not a very fast reload I think you could actually remove the cylinder and load it faster now this little H&R has an M in the serial number and that means that it was made in the early 1950s so uh, and it's got that styling this pistol is is rough like I've said, it's been sitting in a drawer for 60 years, but you get the feel of what it what it, we have here. And as you can see, it has these tough plastic type grips, and they have an unusual color through them. There is a chip on this side over here. But even regardless of some of the pitting and, and the wear, this gun really shoots beautifully. Well, H&R also made the M1 Garand during World War II. They made the M14 and they also made the M16 and during the Vietnam War so uh, and others there were a lot of guns that were made under the H&R banner this is a three inch barrel it's an all steel frame it is double action and double action means that you can pull the trigger to actuate the hammer as you can see of course the gun it has been safety checked a numerous amount of times and it is unloaded but you can actuate the hammer. You can also shoot it single action and that means pulling the hammer back manually and then pulling the trigger. You will also notice that the firing pin is on the hammer. With all rim fire, especially rim fires with an exposed hammer like this or firing pin, you need to you should not dry fire these type pistols. It can damage the firing pin here very easily. Now, on a side note, in 1932, H&R had a single-shot pistol that set the U.S. pistol record and was adopted by the U.S. pistol team. So, these guns, even though they are considered not necessarily uh, the top end, they are accurate and they are very reliable. We have notched fixed sights, have a notch here, have a blade on the front, hear the click. Just a fun little two and a half inch barrel and um, all steel frame. Just a fun little plinker. Now H&R, as far as the pistol manufacturing part of it, started in 1871 and ended in 1986. H&R is still in business today making the handy rifle, which is very popular, and also they make semi-automatic shotguns. And I'm going to leave H&R's uh, website uh, in the description below. But H&R made over a million revolvers up until 1942, and then pro possibly another million after that time. H&R was very prolific. You know, as you want to say, Smith & Wesson may be compared to a Cadillac. This little guy is compared to a Ford. Now, whereas the uh, Smith & Wesson and the Ruger and, and Charter Arms and a lot of other pistols have the swing out barrel this has a pin that holds the barrel similar to the it's kind of an in-between between the, the uh, single action design but you push this pin down and then you pull out the cylinder pin and then it comes it comes out either way actually and as you can see it's a nine shot you can see the craftsmanship it's it's a nice little pistol and I really enjoyed shooting it cylinder goes back in 
you want to make sure that it's aligned and it just goes right in really without having to set this but it would probably help it to be a little smoother the gun weighs a pound and a quarter the last owner of H&R um, is Remington. Remington bought them in, in 2007. They still own the company today. Remington bought it from Marlin, which owned it previously. H&R has changed hands a number of times since 1871, but they have continued to make really fine little pistols for the common man. The H&R 922. Neat little pistol. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. And then reintroduced in 1974... No, no, no. You want some of this? Hey, stop laughing. This may be small, but I will put a...